stack of new joints over here for the drive shafts. I've done, I think, one drive shaft, maybe two drive shafts, a few axles. New joints aren't too terribly hard, but I've never done a double carnin. Is it? Yeah, carnigan is like a blanket or something like that, or a sweater. I forget what it's called. Um, so I think it's a double carnin, I think is how you pronounce it. So I'm going to kind of figure this out as I go, but it should come apart about the same way as the other one. Um, I'm going to spare you the attempt to clean this thing up before I start tearing it apart, but I thought I'd show a little bit of it. That is some crusty ass <laughs> mud, and I have been scraping that stuff off the transmission and transfer case and axles. This came out of that red clay in Oklahoma. Uh, and that's been more of a challenge than just about everything else. So, all right. Yeah, even, oh, all I did was use a couple of wire brushes on my impact and just kind of got in there and knocked out as much dirt as possible. There it goes. Got it. Just make sure since the cap has to go out this way, kind of make sure it's from the edges. This guy maybe? I doubt it. Oh. Alright, that's on the other side of the uh, garage. <laughs> You too can shoot across the garage. Didn't want to. Alright. That wedged in there. That's tight. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, okay, I don't, uh, don't really know which end to start on, but I feel like if I start on this end, this will, I should be able to work, get these two caps off, separate the actual shaft and the carton joint. And then I can work with that independently. I can work with getting this out independently. So I feel like this is where you should begin, but I don't, I don't know if it really matters. We'll see. It really does not want to move. There it goes. Now we're moving, I think. That'd probably be easier anyway. Here it comes. One busted one. Stop. Good. 
goes. It's trashed in there anyway. All right, it's gonna be a two-parter. <laughs> it's gonna be a two-parter. So the center piece, it's, its own unit. So, all right, well, it's all good. I'll order this centerpiece tonight. <laughs> Let's get the rest of this guy apart. That's how we normally out. Come on. Jerk, why don't you? There we go. Stick the clips off of that guy. There he goes. Excuse me. All right, so good bit of cleaning to do. Order a new one of, oh, I'm not done. So this guy to get out. Moving. 
prayer you can get this thing off that little bit of engagement Yeah, all right, maybe it'll clear. A bit more in there. Sorry, my tools are falling off the workbench. Seems like that is all kinds of wrong. Good enough. It's better. This doesn't work. A minute for another. Something like 500 bucks for a new dry shed. Smokes. Caps and needle bearings everywhere. out the other side. The same thing has happened. and dreams. <laughs> New drive shaft wasn't so expensive.
These things are so cursed. Yep. Get some more new one. Carnage. Carnage. Okay. Let's bring you the boring cleaning up process. And uh, cut to new parts on hand. Ready for the install. Chop. Alright, I screwed that up. Where we last left off. I had to order a new one of these. It is about 50 bucks, so that is not cheap, but cheaper than a whole new drive shaft. And my typical, you know, off in my own little world moment, realized that I videotaped the first half, but not the install. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't get that far in. This is the easy part, just getting this guy in, um, started one end. Uh, with just a rubber mallet, little hopper frame mallet, and uh, press the other end with the vise. Uh, and so now I just need to squeeze it just a hair further. Just need to tap it down past the snap ring. Not down far enough. Need more tapity tap tap. There we go. Look at that. We even went a little further than we needed to. And what we'll do is we'll tap this side up against it. Snap. There we go. That one's in. This one we might have pushed just a little too far. Get a little, little whack back the other way, maybe. That works. Okay. So, so the question is, is it easier? Yes, it'll be easier to put this guy on first. Right, because this actually goes in between and slides in there into that end there. So I think in order to hook it and get it to go engage is the angle we need to do this first. It may not matter. Just we'll find out. Yes.
good enough, I think. It's good in there. Snap. That's almost perfect. This one's going in way easier. There it goes. Yeah. Finally. Alright. It's nice and tight. Tight. Alright, so this guy has a protector that comes out in the spring. Goes in there. And that Goes like that. This is part I. Let's just find out. Now we're gonna do this. Did not find a good YouTube video on how to do this. But, alright. It's going in okay. So far, so good. Alright, we got them cupped in here. There's no way, once these guys are in, that I'm going to be able to slide. I don't think so. I mean, I can get one over, I could rotate it down, get enough to get one over, pop it down. But then once that's solid in, I don't think I can get the other side over that. So I'm fairly certain you have to do this first and then put your caps on like this. And it looks like this is going to work fairly well. Let's just hope everything lines up like it should. <laughs> you know, famous last words, right? That barely hit my toe. I'm good. Alright, that guy went in nicely. Okay. So, uh, those of you who haven't done it, this before on a regular drive shaft, the scariest part is the little needle bearings that are in there. Damn, I threw away all my old ones. But the little needle bearings aren't held up by, held on, held in there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, by anything other than the grease that's in there. My old flashlights. Okay. All right. See those cylinders that run around the outer edge? It's called a needle bearing because it looks like a needle, and it rides around as it spins around that metal shaft. And it's pretty easy to knock one loose, have it fall over. And just totally wreck your day. So the trick is to do your best to kind of slide. Get the guys started. Also, slide a screwdriver to pry or something. Try to slide the whole thing into the cup to help support those needle bearings. So I've come out a little bit of these needle bearings. So now I'm a little in these and a little in those and hopefully just the, you know, the ends of those needle bearings 
supported well enough that when I give this a good whack, it'll just slide together. <laughs> yes! Wow, this went together way easier than I thought. Totally doing more of these. All right, so then, like before, well, get it kind of level as you can. Knock that one in. Whoo, that one went pretty far. Go. I, I got to give it to Spicer. Um, they send with their five dash thirteen ten X universal joint. They don't just send you know the standard copper sized thickness, but they also send you a variety pack. These are a little bit thicker, different sizes just depending on your application, or maybe your drive shaft or is a little worn out, and some of these, you know, grooves are a little bit more spaced apart, and just needs a little bit thicker. That's what we're for. Click, click, clickety click. There we go. Okay. So that, oh man, that is nice and tight. Should be able to be able to bear that guy. Yeah, look at that. All right. Okay. This side. Cross the fingers, you go a little bit easier. So, last little check, and all I'm doing is I'm just making sure that clip is seated in the ridge. I just want to make sure they're all seated. Not seated, 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 seated. Alright, everything looks great. Alright, last tip of the day. These last two are held on to the axle with U-bolts. Probably gonna order some new ones. Well, we'll just clean them up and see how they look. Um, and it's not gonna go in just yet. So, what you do is put your caps on to protect it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me just take some wire tape. And 
and run some more tape. Uh, the whole thing. Lots of times.